everyone, Joel Anson here on a very, very, very cold and pretty windy day. This is a Canadian day for sure, guys. Winter is officially here. But here we are today at Spanky's Barbecue and Catering. So to do a big, massive barbecue challenge. Yes, that is right. So basically, we're gonna have like a whole bunch of brisket, we're gonna have a whole bunch of pulled pork, we're gonna have sausages, we're gonna have burgers. So Spanky's a really unique and interesting place. Um, they're in and around the kind of Guelph, Fergus area. There's a total of four locations. Two being sausage carts, two being like food trailers like this. This one's actually located outside the Grand River Racetrack here in Alora. So yeah, kind of like Kitchener, Waterloo, that all area if you ever heard of it. So yeah, for this challenge, whack a brisket, whack a, whack a everything. They are very known for like their spanky relishes. They make a whole bunch of fancy relishes. They make their own barbecue sauces. So it should be really cool. It should be a lot of fun. Again, it's pretty cold, but that's all right. Uh, I wonder, I can see my breath. I don't know if you can see it, but. I'll go out of the wind and try to show you my breath, but yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'll get you the details here momentarily. Let's hope not to freeze and welcome Canada. There you go. I don't know. Anyway, let's have some fun. Look at all this food. So yeah, it's a little cold out, so I really gotta keep the jacket on. But I have a little heater here, which is great. It's actually snowing right now, so hashtag Canada. But yes, guys, so Spanky's here, Grand River Racetrack here in Alora. So I have a whole bunch of uh, pulled pork, about a pound and a half, two pounds. I have an order of their pork burnt ends. Remember, it's pork burnt ends, so that's awesome. Got some of their delicious looking brisket. I have two other sausages, a spicy sausage and an applewood sausage featuring their house-made relishes. So one with the corn relish, one with the cucumber relish, they both are delicious. I have a burger. Really neat about this burger, they serve them on a sausage bun, so that's kind of cool. Very unique. And then I have a Newfie poutine. Yes, that is right. My mother is um, from Newfoundland, has some ancestry in Newfoundland. And that being said, so what this is, is a poutine, so it's french fries with cheese, but also stuffing, like turkey stuffing and green peas, and then a thick gravy on top. So it looks really good. We're gonna have like 30 minutes to do this. So a little bit of time, not too much. But yeah, it's a delicious amount of food. It looks all delicious. I'm so dang excited. Again, there's a couple locations around this area. If anybody wanna be a franchisee, you know, grab that thing, let's do it. But uh, that, we might as well get started. Let's so count of, let's say five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Start with a pork burn in. Oh, that's delicious. Mm, okay. Gotta make sure things don't cool off here. It's a little hard when it's like below zero. I already got covered in gravy. This is gonna be a sign of it, I can tell. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're at Spanky's Barbecue. Yes, quite the name I will say. Spanky's Barbecue, and then they also do um, like catering. So barbecue and catering, and ironically, there's a big sign right behind me there. I got this delicious little brisket. Got some nice fatty brisket. Oh yeah, mm. this falls apart. So here we are doing the Spanky's Barbecue Challenge. Um, weight's probably around like seven pounds. So we had a, I believe it was like maybe two pounds of brisket, two pounds of pulled pork, then had a pork burnt ends, uh, which was very interesting. I've never had pork burnt ends, I've always had beef burnt ends. So it was cool to have pork burnt ends. Then I had uh, two sausages, a spicy sausage, and I believe an Oktoberfest sausage. Then I had a Newfie poutine, and yeah, all the good stuff. What's in the, what's in the, what's in the drink that's like? Hot water. Wow. Oh, warm water. I was like, why are they steaming? Yeah. Boiling Diet Coke on this list. Oh, and I also had a burger. I forgot about the burger. So uh, this location, it's actually outside of a casino. So they have the food trucks. Then they also have a couple different sausage carts. Like I said, all around kind of the Guelph and Alora area in Ontario. So a number of locations and a growing number of locations. The neighbors love weight because the smokers are always going. Mm. Always got a big brisket on there. <laughs> so they can smell it, right? Ooh. Yeah, brisket, really, really good. I don't have a sandwich on the menu. That would be a problem. You can take that one. You can get a brisket sandwich. You can get a brisket poutine. Mm. Same thing with the pulled pork. Oh, yeah. Delicious juice. Yeah, they got all kinds of different poutines. Hence the Newfie poutine. You gotta try it. Try this pulled pork. Mm. 
And that's the like house made barbecue sauce. They have a couple. This one is the uh, maple hickory. I really get the hickory aspect. You guys say you actually you tap the maple for the maple the, the, as well? Yeah. That's cool. So what's really cool about this place is all the meats, all the sausages, etc. are all being made locally. Um, so all local products and then of course they actually make their own barbecue sauces, they're making their own relishes which I will comment on here momentarily. Um, but yeah, so they make their own sauces, um, all ingredients being grown close to home I guess you could say. Um, the smoked meats are a newer addition to the barbecue menu and uh, it's really really good. There were some solid items and I very much enjoyed them. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Everybody wears steak to stand in Yeah, literally. Most of the barbecue comes on sandwiches, um, and again, going with the barbecue cart, like even like the burger that I also had, I forgot to mention, um, it comes on a sausage bun. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, a unique looking burger and sandwich. About four minutes in, oh, it's going really well. It's very tasty. Definitely have some good encouragement to do quickly with this cold weather. But at least it's not raining. It just stopped snowing. Again, guys. They don't say it. Thank you so much. They've been Game of Thrones just saying winter is coming. Well, winter's already here in Canada. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have just taken that glove off. That was a gamble. But that's all right. Let's try these sausages and we'll get to that poutine. So this is, I believe, the Oktoberfest sausage with the uh, corn relish, Spanky's relish. Oh wow. Yes. Where can I buy this? Online? We're working on it. Right. Yeah. That's phenomenal. People know I love flavor, I love sauces. It's a very delicious relish. They also had a very extensive menu of poutines. So if you're not familiar with what a poutine is, a poutine is a Canadian dish, specifically a French Canadian dish originating from Montreal and or Quebec, um, which is mostly French fries, then usually it's gravy and cheese curds on it. That's a traditional one. And then of course, you know, spruce it up, they add extra things to it. Uh, with the exception of my Nufi poutine, which was still had the gravy, the cheese, and the French fries, but also had stuffing on it and peas, which is very unique. Kind of a uh, maritime, ode to the Maritimes, ode to Newfoundland, kind of a unique dish. But then otherwise they had ones with like, for example, the brisket on it, the pulled pork. Um, they had a, what they called a, a Mexican poutine as well. Um, so definitely like a large variety of unique items. And of course, like it's a cool spot. It's a grab and go food. Now I'm starting to cool off. AKA, I can't feel my toes. This is the way. I have to give an extra special thank you to the staff and everybody who came out to watch because it was very, very cold, guys. You can see the steam coming off the water. You can see my breath throughout this video. Many people in many parts of the world do not know cold like a Canadian winter. And this was a Canadian day, a Canadian uh, becoming winter. This wasn't even like the cold of the cold, but this was still a very cold and chilly day. This one I got the cucumber relish on. That has a delicious, very nice flavor with that sausage. And although I'm not a fan of the cold, it's do or do not. It's just proper preparation, preventing poor performance. Shut up and eat, shut up and do it. So that's kind of where I just sucked it up and went for it. But uh, yeah, like I said, huge thanks to the staff. Um, huge thanks to Spanky's. Like I said, they have multiple locations around, both being sausage carts and barbecue trucks. Um, as I said earlier, they do catering. I believe they are actually currently franchising, so definitely um, check out the uh, check out their business. Contact them if you're interested. And besides that, I think that's pretty much all the information I have to share with you today. Here's their burger, served on the bun. Can you see my breath? Yeah. <laughs> that's how cold it is, folks. 
So if you're ever up at the Grand River Raceway, the Elements Casino up there in Alora, definitely check out Spanky's Barbecue. Um, nice little truck and you know a, a food option at the casino in the uh, parking lot there. And definitely check out the rest of their locations. Additionally, if you want their sauces and relishes, I believe they are selling them online now. They're very, very delicious. So yeah, I had a huge thanks again to the staff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, I'll let you get to the rest of it. Your hands frozen? More on my feet. I don't have feet anymore, everybody. Casualties I'd be expected, but I got the uh, barbecue or the uh, root beer barbecue sauce on this. Alright, <coughs> down to the food Let's see how this goes. Eight minutes and about 50 seconds in. Okay, so like I said, gravy, cheese, <coughs> cheese and stuffing and peas. Tastes like turkey dinner. Tastes like stuffing. So I used to live on the East Coast in a place called PEI, Prince Edward Island, Canada. And they used to have things like, kind of like this, they called like a, or again, kind of like a nougat thing, it's like a, like a hot, kind of like a hot hamburger or a hot chicken sandwich. And it had like the stuffing, the peas and stuff, gravy. It's young bread, but this is a unique mix. Usually at this point I might make a reference to dessert, but I know they and I know they have ice cream here, but it's just it's too cold everybody. It's just not happening that. You can see my graphic. I'm just I, I am ice cream today. <laughs> or a popsicle or something. Alright, and we are done. Just finished up that challenge. We'll say about uh, 11 minutes, 20 seconds. Thank you, thank you everybody. A few people coming to watch, so much appreciated. It's a very cold day. Uh, again, huge thanks to Spanky's for having me up. Yeah, I think they are actually expanding. They already have four locations, so definitely hop on that if you guys are interested in the area. It's a very well-known name. Uh, both their sausage carts, especially the sausage carts, and then these trailers for events. Uh, well, now here at the Grand River Racetrack. So yeah, super cool, really enjoyed the food. The brisket was phenomenal, you guys know I love brisket and definitely it was very, very good. Brand's really cool as well. Love those relishes on the sausages. So yeah, seriously, it was all really good, no complaints. So Snoopy Poutine was really interesting as well. So that everybody, until next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little cold, so I'm gonna go before it, it's already snowing actually. So before it's in a snowstorm and whiteout. So that, excuse me. So that everybody, thank you for watching. Of course, until next time, stay happy, stay hungry, happy eating. Tell me yourself some good food. I did that. I'm gonna go try to defrost my feet. Till next time, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Woohoo! Awesome. Thanks, everybody.
everybody. Thank you, thank you.